Your two minutes starts now. Kia ora tato. good afternoon everyone. Um, thank you for the opportunity created this afternoon to speak on what are really important issues. Uh, Nelson Mandela's quote is exactly right. And I had the privilege two years ago of going to supervise an election in West Africa in a tiny country called Guinea-Bissau, one of the poorest countries on the planet. And there every child was brought up by their village and cared for like a treasure. And that's something we could learn from in my view. The answers to the questions, first one unequivocally, yes. I tried four years ago when this campaign first was launched to get it across the council. As your mayor, I was totally unsuccessful in getting that past council. I didn't even have one person speak in support. Well, I'm delighted today to hear that a couple of councillors have joined me on that uh, issue. Because when I spoke about it last week in a council meeting, where I was not a part of the committee, so I couldn't move, second or vote on anything, I just spoke on the issue, there was beginning to be recognition we have an issue. And if we don't look after our lowest paid, then I think we haven't got things in balance. Um, as a child-friendly city, of course, it's a given. And one of the things that we need to do is interact more with our young people. And it's very sad to me that this term of council there's been almost no interaction with our youth, let alone our children. One of the first things that went across my desk as mayor after a uh, financial reckoning which showed we were $25 million in the hole each year, that was a shock, I tell you, having made in your first week of being mayor, was a plan for Pukkura Park Playground. Beautifully done by an architect. And I said, what do the children think? <laughs> um. <laughs> so we went out to all the schools and engaged with all the children nearby. Well, my two, two minutes already. Very rapidly on housing, yes, we put in place initiatives in terms of insulation. I think the council should be embracing a warranted fitness system. I think we should be encouraging landlords to take the interest-free loans that council, sorry, the um, rates, targeted rates that council have put in place during my term for insulation, etc. Thank you. Thank you very much.